I'm Scott L. Miller. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today we have a special guest Jill has sent in who is commenting on the show all the time and she's on the live feed so you've probably seen her post somewhere if you're following the show a lot. She had some uh, minor medical needs when she was here in Nicaragua. She's living in Leon just near me so we're able to, to share a lot of uh, common things that are going on and she recently needed to visit the public hospital or clinic and she had uh, some experiences that she wanted to share with you. So today's episode we're going to be actually having her share her medical experiences here in Leon with you, which I'm very excited about. This is the uh, one of the first few people who have sent in video commentary and questions. Uh, so it's great being able to get you guys on the show. So we're going to get to her right after the bump. Jill has recently moved down to Nicaragua, and while out in the jungle, she had a run-in with some ants uh, with her dogs that she brought with her and uh, needed to get some medical attention. So getting these first-hand examples of exactly what medical has been like when experiencing it in Nicaragua is really valuable because we all have very different things, whether it's a, a major medical event, a minor one, a, a checkup, uh, needing it, you know, teeth cleaning. Sometimes it's very routine, and, and everyone has different doctors and dentist and if you watch uh, Scott Moore's show there's got to be something more right they had a very tough time coming up with uh, good dental um, um, uh, assistance but they also went to really weird places and, and got help through family who lived here and didn't really ask around I don't think too much because they didn't ask us and we know we have really good dentists have lots of people with really great experiences uh, and and so it's very available but make sure you're asking around um, and not just using the family dentist that everyone's like well we've used them for forever we never shopped around we didn't we don't know what other dentistry is out there but with a little bit of work consistently we're hearing people get such great experiences uh, and so Jill is going to tell us about her experience today and coming up pretty soon um, Alan is going to talk about his we have already talked to him I know that we're gonna do an interview when we have a chance to sit down and uh, I have a few other people that want to talk about theirs as well. So it's, there's a lot of people that are building up a good body of uh, experience of completely different procedures or n emergency levels or needs. And we recently had some stuff ourselves. You know, we made some videos at Vivian Pellis and it, really great experiences there as well and really great experiences at Amoxa in Leon. And we have the new hospital opening up, which I really hope we can get a tour of. Uh, at some point when it gets closer to opening. So uh, so it's been really fantastic, but I love that people are doing these. And if you have any stuff like this to send in, certainly consider making a video and sending it in. Uh, but with that, let's turn it over to Jill and hear what she has to say about her experiences in Leon. Hello, buen dia. I'm Jill Freeman coming from Nicaragua, Leon. Uh, much in thanks to Scott and all his information. I made the move, I'm so happy about it. Um, I'm staying at Hotel Leyendas, which I recommend. It's in Leon, essentially located, friendly staff, lots of outdoor areas, very accommodating, um, really, really good. So that's my little bump. I, I'm here to talk about the Nika healthcare system, which I used for the first time three days ago. Look at my face. I'm old. I'm going to need this. So. Um, I was really interested in how this was going to play out. Um, I was up in the jungle for a month uh, with my two Kodenko dogs and one of my dogs stepped in an anthill and so I stepped in the anthill right behind him. Um, the ants climbed up my legs um, and while I was trying to get them off my legs and off my shoes of course little buggers scurried up my arms so um, I have bites on four limbs um, and a tendency towards allergies for insects. Um, I carry an EpiPen with me. Um, so I'm just going to briefly show you my legs. Don't be scared. They're not pretty, but um, just so you can get an idea of the bites. Alright, they're just like all over my legs. Just like that. Nasty. Nasty. Uh, and really keeping me awake um, so my and my feet started to swell and so I thought hmm after three weeks maybe I should do something about this I had gone to pharmacies in uh, Matagalpa and got antihistamines but they didn't seem to do anything so 
I headed off to the uh, healthcare center, two blocks from the hotel, from the hostel. They're all over the place, these little centers, and um, was welcomed by five medical students um, very professionally. They took my French ID number. Um, I'm French and Canadian, uh, and that was all. And um, then I was seen immediately by this lovely doctor, Dr. Brenda, uh, who examined my bites. She prescribed uh, three different prescriptions. Uh, one very strong antihistamine for five days. It's already working. Not sleep. I slept right through the night like yesterday, no, no scratching. Um, another one for 20 days. That's not as strong. Uh, and gave me all the pills for the five days and the 20 days. Uh, hydrocortisone cream. Two tubes of it to put on, on the bites themselves. And when I asked her, great, what, what do I owe you for this? She's like, nothing. No, it's free. Everything's free here. And uh, even the medicine, like they gave the, the consult consultation, the medicine, everything, free. Um, I've lived in four countries, and this is the first time I've ever experienced um, anything like this. Um, such good service, immediate, um, concerned, professional. Um, and the free factor is kind of nice, too, although I did tell her she should charge the gringos because we could certainly afford to pay something. Uh, wouldn't accept a tip, want to leave a tip. No, 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 no. This is the way it's done here. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, just a fantastic experience. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy about it. It certainly, um, you know, lessens any fears I have of, uh, about getting old and needing help. Uh, help is there. Help is free. Uh, there's a brand new hospital going in in Lyon. I think Scott mentioned it the other day on his, on his program. Um, so I'm feeling really confident about the healthcare system, and I just wanted to share that with you. Next stop, dentist. That's going to be good, too. I'll let you know. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Jill, so much for sending that in. That's awesome to get that feedback and to have viewers on the channel. This is really fantastic. Like, I really enjoy this. This is going to be something I hope that becomes a regular thing and a lot more people send in these videos. Uh, and and it's, it's just so cool getting the community to be able to connect to each other. And if you're watching my live streams, which we have not been doing and we're not gonna be able to do until April, like I just, I'm so busy. There's no way, I just can't pull it off. Uh, so we're taking March off from doing the live streams, but I love doing the live streams. Jill is always on the live stream. So, you know, if you get on, you can actually talk to her in real time. And of course you can post, you know, comments and she'll probably see them. But if you post in the live stream, she's normally there and you can actually talk to her. Like that stuff's really cool. Like you guys are starting to connect so much more because of the live streams, you're able to chat and stuff. It, it's neat, it really is. So in April, we're gonna get back to that, which is not that far away. Like it's not that much time. And, uh, but, but I love that people are sending these in so the the information is in the description of every video uh, you just go to you you make a video try to record 4k if you can make sure it's horizontal not vertical uh and and make sure it's 30 frames per second those are the biggest things 4k we can live without 1080p is fine but if you can do those things and then we transfer.com and just put in info at relocate nicaragua.com is the the email you're sending it to and i'm able to download those and use them it's really easy for you really easy for me um, and if it's more than two gig Maybe make a shorter video. I don't know, break it up or something. But <laughs> I don't mind getting big ones, uh, especially if it's like telling stories or whatever. I hope the traffic noise isn't too bad today. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That comes directly to me. It's like Patreon and helps make this channel and everything that we do possible. About Nicaragua, about travel. We got some, some travel information coming up about some other things. I got some cool adventures we've got to do. Lots of neat stuff on the channel and new camera equipment, both photographic and VR 180. It's gonna be a little bit before we see anything from that, but I am excited that we've got some new stuff. So like and subscribe, post on social media, tell your friends about the show, and I will see all of you tomorrow. And while we're here, four videos gonna pop up on the screen. Just pick any one of them, go watch that, helps support the show. Thanks.